in college, my senior design group created a prototype for a musical swing set. It plays different musical notes when swinging, and also includes RGB lights with a changing rainbow pattern. Our prototype consisted of a wooden A-frame construction with a plastic enclosure to house the electronics. The electronics include a combination gyroscope accelerometer board attached to each swing, an audio trigger board, an amplifier, and an Arduino as the main controller board for this system. Here's how it works. Once the system is turned on, the electronics initialize and prepare to read each swing's angle. There are six different notes that could be played overall and are assigned to both swings. Certain angles correspond to a note. The Arduino is constantly reading these values and adjusting the RGB strip colors accordingly. Also, the moment that a swing reaches the angle for a note, a digital trigger is sent to the audio board, which has these notes stored on it. The note is played for this angle, and this could happen for both swings at the same time. This cycle repeats throughout the swing's operation. Here's a block diagram of the components. The two sensors output data through the I2C communication protocol, which goes to the I2C multiplexer so that the Arduino can manage the data from both at the same time. The Arduino utilizes libraries for these sensors and the multiplexer to turn this into usable angle data and decides when the note should be played. The wave controller receives digital triggers, one for each note, and passes them through the amplifier and then onto the speakers. All the while, the Arduino is mapping the angle data to the RGB strip, gradually changing to different colors of the rainbow. Our frame was built as a traditional A-frame swing set, minus the extra bracing on the legs, and also the fact that we couldn't anchor it since it was not meant to be a permanent structure. That's why you can see it start to tip on me in the beginning of this video. The plastic enclosure was mounted to the side with a few wood screws, and the gaps around the cable were sealed with silicone. There are also a few buttons on the front of the panel, but only two were wired for the prototype, volume up and volume down. With a few superfluous purchases, our total cost for the prototype was around $762. The electronics alone accounted for $462. With some refinement, better planning, and more research, this could easily be reduced in the future. I have more information about some changes I could make on my blog, link in the description below. While it has its flaws, overall I'm proud of what our group accomplished in that semester and I'm prepared to create a version 2 with numerous fixes in mind, so give this video a like if that's something you want to see in the future. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.